So, it's open farm day here at the farm with the good food. Um, that means we're welcoming the public uh, onto the farm and they're getting farm tours and they can see the antique shop and buy eggs and all sorts of things. Um, and I've been here documenting that. Um, so that's what's uh, happening here. They're Boy, those drakes are obnoxious. Um, I think um, Susan's actually been making me a bit of an attraction as well. She's been saying, oh, and this is our documentary filmmaker, and he's making a documentary. Everyone's been super curious. Um, so that's kind of an experience for me. It's good for the film to get uh, some new exposure. So as you can see, they're selling eggs here behind me. Um, Susan sells well, mainly cattle, but uh, she calls herself a protein producer, so aside from the cows, she's got a flock of hens and some ducks and some pigs, and people are able to come and buy directly from her. Um, so she sells like six or seven dozen eggs every day on average. Anyway, aside from selling eggs, um, you can also hatch them, and that's what happened here. Um, these seven ducklings hatched yesterday, and um, this black hen that is in there with them is their mother. I mean, not genetically, um, chickens don't lay duck eggs, but um, there's a lot of eggs around, and this hen was feeling broody, as they say, um, and decided to sit on these duck eggs. And so she's hatched out uh, seven ducklings, which I didn't know what happened. I uh, figured they'd be possessive of their eggs, but I guess if you're hatching out uh, an egg or two every day, then it doesn't really matter whose you sit on, and well, now these are her children. We helped bring them out uh, this morning. So, as I've mentioned, this is a beef farm, um, but the cattle are not really around. They're just on pasture right now. Um, so there hasn't been a lot of work with cows. I was hoping, you know, I, I've not got a lot of animal experience, and so I've been here hoping to learn about animals, but that's not what's happened. Um, because I've been on market gardens for the last four months, what does Susan want? Well, she's put me to work in her garden, which they don't even really sells to the public. Um, it's just for the family. But um, this is their garden and I weeded all of it last week and uh, this is a row of potatoes that uh, I, I dug up. Um, and these potatoes we actually are selling. Uh, we dug them specifically for open farm days so some of the public are buying my potatoes and that's been part of my sales pitch to them is uh, I dug those potatoes two days ago. So that's felt kind of good but I really do hope that I'll get to spend some time with the cows. Um, next week I'm headed east again to visit a grain farm so I don't miss uh, the grain harvest season. Um, but I'll be back on the farm with the good food uh, in about a month or a month and a half. And by then they'll be bringing the cows off the pasture and starting to sell them. So that's what I'll be documenting. So that means that next week I'll be coming to you from another new farm, a grain farm. And you can see uh, what my take on the grain harvest is by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Um, you can follow the documentary at thehandsthatfeedus.ca or you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, I'll see you next week at the Grain Farm.